Hello and welcome to the unboxing of a care package from my mom and supposedly my dad who I haven't spoken to in about a decade. Uh, so something you should know, it's my birthday this week and it's also Hanukkah. Uh, both of those two things could warrant a box. I know my brother's got a box for them and their kids. And I know that uh, my brother's card is actually in here because my mom put my card in his box and his card in mine. And this is too hard to close, so we're going to keep it open. All right, and handy. Here we go. This is from Israel, where they moved back to. Of course, I'm in New York. Oh, wait, first predictions. Oh, I peeked a little bit, but... In all fairness, I knew that part. There's going to be some bamba in here, which are some peanut butter snacks that are amazing. Maybe some other snacks, like um, they're called beastly, which is like sort of the potato chips of Israel. Uh, there might be something from a place called Hoodies, Hoodies, which is down the block from my parents' place. And one time um, when I visited, we bought something from there. So from now on, that is the store she gets me uh, things from. And what else could there be? Last time there were shoes. I don't think this is a shoe version of things, but it's always around in this size box, so it really could be anything. What else? Uh, I predict the card might have glitter, and I predict that I will open it even though it's my brother's card because it probably says the same thing. Here we go. And of course we have the Bamba snacks, the peanut butter snacks. Mwah! This is the best. If you are uh, in or around Israel, you should get this. Um, imagine peanut butter Captain Crunch, less crunch, a little more puffy, and a little less peanut buttery as well. Like uh, boyfriend Xerxes likes to jo joke, um, even if you're allergic to peanut butter, this is okay. It's not okay, but that's how little peanut butter he thinks there is in that. So of course there's going to be a bunch of these. Uh, let's see, that's four so far. And then we have chocolate bomba, which is the same peanut butter snack with chocolate in the middle, which I don't know, I'm not really that into, but I end up eating. So there that is, can't help it. Now, here come the Israeli snacks. Uh, this is, oh, okay, this is a little funny. This is falafel flavored, okay? Falafel, you're hearing me say falafel flavored. Falafel is like this chickpea thing that you put into a ball and you fry it and then you eat it in a sandwich most likely. This is barbecue, barbecue flavored uh, in a shape of like something that could fit like a ring on your finger. More chocolate bamba. This is grill flavor. So that's a uh, grill flavor. So I don't know what the difference between that and barbecue really is. I feel like it's similar, but these are really good. Um, and this is another falafel one. The falafels used to be different. I remember having this in my, uh, bringing it to yeshiva and they were little sort of um, sticks that bent a little bit and I would put it in my little pencil box and sneak the food while I was in class. Uh, it is Hanukkah, so we have Hanukkah Gelt. This is chocolate in these little coins. I don't like milk chocolate, so I won't be eating this, but I like the idea of this flat chocolate that you can put in your purse, and of course, eventually it melts because you don't eat it, and it's a big mess. That's my purse. Oh! Ferrero Rocher! Who the hell knows how to say this? Ferrero Rocher! I always sound crazy saying it, but there it is. This is so good. It has nothing to do with Israel, but this is one of the best, um, like, simple chocolates that you can get from drugstores and stuff. It has that creaminess inside. It has the, um, the nut in the middle and a lot of textures all around. I love it. Now this. Oh, this is chalva. I don't know if you're familiar with chalva. Xerxes calls it the sand of candy, he's not that wrong. It does have a sand consistency. You break into it and it sort of melts in your mouth. Uh, it sounds really weird, but it does have a really good tastiness to it. If you're ever around it, try it. It's, I don't wanna describe it as sweet sand, but it's sweet sand. Okay, and this one apparently is like in a bar and has some nuts in it. Uh, so it's a little extra special. Oh my goodness. All right, now these are the homemade treats and she packages up so nicely. A bag around the 
plastic so that if the plastic opens, it doesn't spill onto everything. And this most likely is made out of nuts with minimal sugar. It's a very good uh, trail mixy sort of thing. It's kind of like having slivered almonds uh, put together with a little bit of honey, a tiny bit of honey. It tastes really good, it's crunchy. Um, if you're going on a hike, this, I think it's perfect. So thanks mom, I think you could sell it, but uh, you'll never uh, figure out how to do that on the internet. So unless my brothers are willing to help you, there it is. Um, bazooka, which was originated in Israel, I believe. Uh, this says bazooka in Hebrew. It looks like it has the comic on the back. That's pretty interesting. And uh, I stopped chewing gum a few years ago, but who cares, right? Okay, and here is this actually meant from my brother it has my brother's name in hebrew my brother's hebrew name which is sharon sharon and it says Yom sameach sharon. oh my brother's birthday is in january so happy birthday january that's what that says let's see more great packaging you gotta admit that's wonderful and if i like this it's gonna be mine sorry happy birthday to my brother michael hebrew name sharon oh hello tell me this is from hoodies just tell me it has the hoodie let's see let's check and hoodies excellent you know this is a store that i think is in um multiple countries so if you're not in israel not new york you still might have that this is a good one i might take this unless she sent me one too and then we'll compare and contrast want to see what the message says to my brother here's what i think it's going to say and i think my card says the same thing it usually does it says um, something like health and wealth for your birthday and may you live to 120, which is a thing that uh, Israelis say on birthday cards. So let's see. It says Mazel Tov in Hebrew in the center. And then my mother wrote in, oh, in English, happy birthday. Oh, son. I thought she wrote Sean and I was like, she doesn't even know your name. But there it is. Happy birthday, son. Uh beautiful no glitter oh there's a picture of my brother and his kids which my mother in israel is sending to them in new york happy birthday son may your birthday and all this is in english may your birthday and all your tomorrows be <laughs> she writes the r's in script i love it be blessed with everything good in life all the best to you son we love you michael Mazel Tov um, from mom and dad and the Mazel Tov from mom and dad is in Hebrew. I don't know if my brother puts his kids online, so we'll, they probably are, but you know what? You'll have to search for that. This is my box. So what can I tell you? The prized possession here, the Bamba, I think, number one snack. Also Trader Joe's sells a version of it, which I believe they work with the company from Israel. It tastes exactly the same. And this thing that I may or may not steal from my brother, depending on if there was a hoodie uh, for him, for me, in his box. Otherwise, this is mine. Uh, the trail mix. If you all were here, I would absolutely share it. Let's go for a hike someday. Happy birthday to me. Thanks, Mom. See you later.